Hi, my name is Jeff DeMore. I'm with Converter Accessory Corporation, and today I'm going to show you our uh, patented core lock air shaft with lateral adjust built into it. Um, this is an unwind stand that we built to display some of our equipment, and this is our air shaft with built in lateral adjust. It's cantilever, and basically, the way this unit works, it has leaves on the circumference, around the circumference of the air shaft, that expand when um, there's a uh, spirally wrapped rubber tubing inside. When that's inflated, the uh, rubber tubing expands and pushes out these leaves into a core to hold a core in place. So I can show how that's operated. The way, on this unit, the way we operate it, it goes to the rotor reunion, which is on the back side of the air shaft. And we're gonna pull this guard off and I'm gonna show you in a minute how that rotor reunion comes into this air shaft. So the air is piped into the air shaft, compressed air. And what we do is, we just have it with a toggle valve, so when we flip this valve, pressurized air is now into the air shaft, and these, these segments or these leads are out and grabbing your core. It can grab a plastic core, a metal core, or most commonly a, a, a cardboard core. But um, when it's deflated, you'll see these segments, um, you'll see these segments compress when I flip the valve the other direction. So you'll hear the, you'll hear the air escape, and you'll see those segments now they're they're compressing down so now you can see that they're they're fitting loosely together and then when i inflate the air shaft you'll see that how they come out and they would grab your core um, this air shaft also has built into it a lateral adjustment feature and the way this unit works is this is what we call a grip knob so when you want to make an adjustment laterally in the machine the operator grabs the grip knob and then makes an adjustment on the adjustment knob. So, um, and we use a fine thread here so that there's a, a large adjustment necessary here for a fine adjustment here. That gives you um, a lot of adjustment going into your machine and gives you a very accurate edge position going into your machine. So the operator grab the grip knob and as he adjusts this adjustment knob, you'll see the air shaft sliding laterally along that through shaft. And now I'm going to operate the unit and operate it in the opposite direction. You'll see the air shaft moving the other direction on the through shaft. Now we can get, with this air shaft, we get about plus or minus two inches of total travel in the lateral direction. <clears throat> so what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, remove that guard. I'm going to thread up the machine with a roll of material and that will show you um, an important feature about this air shaft. You can actually make this lateral adjustment while the machine is running. And I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so what I've done is the air shaft is inflated. So the air is now in the air shaft and the segments of those leaves have come out and they grab the core. This roll is now in, in place, you can't move it anywhere on that air shaft because it's being gripped by the aluminum segments or the leaves underneath. In order to put tension on the material, I engaged this brake, so the brake is delivering some amount of torque to the through shaft, which is delivered to the core, and then eventually to the roll of material, and that's what provides web tension on the material. I'm going to uh, show CAC air brake in another video, so stay tuned, and we'll go over the air brake in another video, not this video. This video is specifically only for the air shaft and lateral adjust. So, as I said before, this, this air shaft, you don't need to air it up with an, uh, an air inflating gun or inflation gun. We air it up right through a rotary union. So that valve, that toggle valve I flipped in before, is piped up to this rotary union, and the rotary union allows compressed air to come in and travel to a rotating shaft. So you have stationary air going through the rotary union into a rotating shaft. So it makes it very easy for the operators to operate the, um, the on and off or the, the, the loading and the unloading of this air shaft. All they have to do is flip a valve. They don't have to bother with inflating guns or anything like that. Now, as I said, one of the important features about CACs lateral adjust air shaft is that you can make um, the lateral adjust while the machine is running. So right now, this edge in the unwind, this edge is set wherever 
the operator needs it going into the machine. But if he wants to move that edge over, he can do so very easily while the machine is running. All he has to do is grab onto the grip knob. The air shaft is still turning, the machine is still running. And as you turn this knob, you'll see that air shaft sliding along that through shaft. And you'll also see the edge of the material is now repositioning into the machine. I'm sliding that whole edge of that material in the machine over. I can also slide it back the other direction. So you'll see that air shaft moving along that through shaft and you'll also see the edge of the unwind roll moving along that through shaft. So I can position that edge anywhere within plus or minus two inches in the lateral direction. And that's uh, a very key feature about CAC's air shaft and lateral adjustment. You can make that adjustment while the machine's running. So the operator can see where he needs his edge of material and he can slide it laterally as it's running into the machine. The way it, um, CAC's air shafts are manufactured, these are the aluminum leaves that are wrapped around the air shaft. So that's what they look like when they're off the air shaft. And these are machined, so they slide um, loosely together. And then inside of, that, inside of that air shaft, and this is how all of CAC's air shafts are made, there's a spirally wrapped rubber tubing. And so this particular air shaft is inflated with a valve, so you put a gun up to this valve, air would travel into this copper extension and then into the, the hollow rubber tubing. And then on this end, we have a plug that simply just stops the air from coming out the other end of the tubing. So the air travels into the rubber tubing, the rubber tubing is hollow, and that expands underneath the aluminum leaves. And that's exactly how that air shaft works as well. Thank you for watching CAC's uh, demonstration of lateral adjustment air shaft. Um, and uh, I appreciate your time and, uh, and your time taken to watch this video. Thank you.